Hi everybody, my name is Mohamed Hamdi. I am from Egypt. I am here today to introduce a small visual basic to you. The small visual basic language is built on Microsoft Small Basic. They are both educational languages aimed for kids and beginners. They are very simple and you can start programming using them in a few minutes. Uh, let's have a look at small basic at first to tell you why I decided to uh, build small visual basic on top of it. This is the Microsoft small basic uh, website. You have two options to download a small basic or to uh, write code online. Anyway, when you download the small basic uh, stop program and install it, the language IDE will look as you see. It is very simple. This is the text editor and this is the help panel that gives you information about the word the carrot is within like here uh, right line it tells you that uh, it writes text to or a number to the text window etc and it tells you about its parameters uh, it has only one parameter data and tells you it is the text or number to write to the text window uh, here Note that control plus uh, mouse wheel will change the zoom of the editor. So, here a simple application, uh, it is only one line text window, dot right line, hello. The text window is the console window, the black uh, famous console window. Now you can run this application by just uh, clicking the run button or pressing F5. Uh, this is the console window, so it says hello, as we told it to do. Press any key to continue, it will close it and uh, close the program. Small basic is easy, uh, but it has only two screens, the text window and the graphics window. The graphics window is uh, more attractive and can do amazing things. For instance, you can import some programs from the server, like Tetris. This is the very famous game uh, called Tetris. Uh, let's run it and see. This is the game. You can use arrows to change the position. Down arrow will drop. Uh, up arrow will uh, rotate the shape. And so on. So uh, this is the graphics window. You can do interesting things with it. So small basic is uh, easy, uh, fun, but after a while you will find it too small. Uh, you can't do more with it. Or use external libraries written for small basic uh, to do more, like the little dev library. It actually does many advanced things and the graphics, uh, but I see it quite hard. Also, graphics and games most of the time need sine, cosine, and the 10 functions which are not suitable for uh, little kids with little knowledge in mathematics. So uh, I asked myself why not have uh, a form designer, a toolbox that drag some uh, controls on the form, uh, double click uh, a button and uh, write one line of text uh, to get a program up and running like uh, what we used to do in VB6 and like what we are doing in uh, VB.NET and C-Sharp. I thought it would be fun and doable. So uh, I did it. I created small visual basic. It is not actually small. The small part comes from uh, small basic. Uh, the visual part comes from visual basic. And the result is small visual basic. Its reference book uh, contains 750 pages. So it is not small by any means. The small visual basic source code is published on GitHub. You will find all links in the description box below. This is the source code. You can fork it uh, or download it. Here you can download it. Uh, it is written with uh, visualbasic.net. There are seven projects. They are all WBF projects written in VB.net. So you can use Visual Studio.net uh, to run it. 
if you want to report a bug or send me a proposal you can do it in the issues tab here publish a new issue and uh, contribute to the language uh, and send me some bull requests uh, anyway back to the small basic the readme contains a brief description of the language here is the installer link and here is the pdf link let's go to uh, the installer visual studio marketplace uh, this installer is still new uh, i just released it four days ago click the download button to download it when the download is complete just click here or open the folder and double click the installer whatever to start the installer welcome next uh, keep the uh, default options next next uh, give it give it the permission uh, it is finished close now you get three shortcuts on your desktop one for a small visual basic another for its reference book and a third one for the small visual basic samples folder you will also find these shortcuts in the start menu all programs uh, small visual basic let's open small visual basic this is the form designer of small visual basic it is very much like uh, visual basic 6 above here we have two tabs the form design uh, and the form code the form code uh, switches you to the code editor which is built on the small basic uh, code editor that we have seen but with the slight changes for instance uh, there is no help panel here uh, Here we have right line and so uh, you notice here we you have uh, the Intel Sense uh, pop up help window. Let's say help run. The same result. Small Visual Basic is small basic and plus. So uh, it has the text window, it has the graphics window, it has the small basic library and more. It offers you uh, the form designer and a small WinForms uh, library to uh, draw controls and uh, program them uh, you can drag any control here like you want this is a text box uh, this is a button you can double click the button to have its on click event handler you can start typing what you want textbox1.text equals hello and run this is our hello it's easy and fast like vb6 you have uh, 12 controls uh, in the toolbox uh, you have some flow charts here uh, you can program them just like labels you have some geometric shapes here you can resize any shape drag it to relocate its position you can even uh, rotate it you can resize any shape as you want you can press control uh, and resize so you skew the, the button or any control let's skew this you can select anything and delete and you can undo Control Z. You can redo Control Y or right click and use the context menu to do such things. You can change back colors, diagram appearance, diagram background. You have amazing brushes here. You can use the even some gradient colors like this. or use a radial gradient color you can add stops and they change uh, what, how the color looks so you end up with this you can also explore the samples folder 
It contains uh, 71 items, 71 samples. Uh, let's see this. Let's see animation three. So you can run from the code or run from the form designer. Uh, whatever you like. This is an easy sample to try. This is... Uh, There are more samples uh, on my device, for instance, the Jerry Mouse. Let's open it. This program consists only of seven lines. It has the Jerry image in a label. Uh, and by the way, you can add uh, images to the label by the color dialog also, like this. Change the gram appearance and the gram background. Uh, use the image brush and the, and the choose an image like jury. So here we are. Just resize it to a proper size. You can have a small or a large one as you as you like. Uh, this is a simple uh, application for kids. So jury can chase the mouse. The computer mouse. Just click anywhere, and it will choose the position of the of the cursor of the mouse pointer. This is funny. This is a Tom and Jerry simple game. Eighty-five lines of code. Let's try it. Jerry should uh, escape. Jury should escape from these cats until one catches it. <laughs> these samples are for kids, but the language uh, definitely has more. Back to the samples folder, we have some advanced uh, samples. For instance, you can create a, a calculator. This is just a simple calculator. Two, three, plus result five. Minus, minus on multiplication six division point six. You can even have multi forms. For example, we have the small visual basic not bad. Let's see it. Let's run the project. This is uh, the not bad. You can copy and cut and undo whatever. Redo. You can change the font to bold. You can change colors. Font color. You can save the document and open another. So, whatever. You can search. Search for Z, for instance. You can work with files, you, you can save settings, you can draw amazing things, you can you can create a game. There is a cars game in the samples folder, you can try it. A small visual basic can do a lot of interesting things and you can use it to learn many aspects of programming. It is a semi-object oriented language because you can use the control names as objects like when I used the text box one dot text equals hello. This is not possible in small basic. It uses only static methods, uh, which makes the code uh, quite larger. Uh, small visual basic syntax uh, has many improvements and new syntax features like uh, array initializer, uh, like uh, writing functions, like passing parameters to subroutines and functions, uh, like having uh, local variables. This is not possible in small basic. All small basic uh, variables are global, which is insane. <laughs> and many other th uh, things. Uh, the, the code editor is uh, highly advanced. It is, uh, it is uh, close enough to Visual Studio uh, editor. The form designer is very advanced. 
despite we are creating uh, Windows Forms applications using small Visual Basic, we also uh, use some uh, advanced graphics from uh, WBF. As I said before, uh, all the source code of small Visual Basic is uh, written using WBF uh, with the Visual Basic uh, .NET code. Uh, WBF is very advanced, but I managed to give uh, small Visual Basic uh, a little taste of uh, its, uh, its advanced features. The control class has some methods like styles, advanced styles on the form and controls. For instance, the custom styles sample in the samples folder. Can't you how to do that? Let's see. Change my style. You can apply uh, styles uh, on on all the buttons at once or only one button. If you look here, it uses a style file. Style file is exactly a XAML file uh, that contains a resource dictionary. This is a quite advanced topic. It is not aimed for kids nor beginners, but it opens a back door for them when they get uh, professional uh, to learn more about WF. So after a while, they can easily move to uh, vb.net and in a later step to WF and all the new XAML technologies like uh, when you are three or Maui. So small Visual Basic is built to be a middle stage in between small basic and vb.net and beyond. It will bring you to programming easily. I think you will enjoy it. Uh, this is the small Visual Basic channel on YouTube. It contains a series of videos to introduce small visual basic and programming for kids and beginners. The series contain 58 lessons uh, until now and will be more. Each lesson is about 10 minutes average. They are all in Arabic, but I think you can understand them even you don't understand Arabic. And here I am talking to uh, professional developers and uh, YouTube uh, video makers who want to introduce such videos in their native languages. So I think they can follow this series and get some ideas. It is easy to understand what I am doing by observing uh, how I am, I am designing the form and what code I am, I am writing in the code editor. And you already have the PDF book uh, that explains it. You can open the small visual basic reference book where you have all kind of info you need. The index uh, can help you to navigate uh, to whatever you want or use uh, the search box and write some word you want to uh, search for. You have the language, the ebook, uh, the samples and the YouTube channel. So I hope you will enjoy uh, small visual basic and uh, find it useful. Thank you.